Hello, I'm Dina, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be opening up a Blastoise EX Red and Blue collection. Uh, it's got four different generation booster packs, as well as a Blastoise EX, and a figurine. And... Let's check out the back here. Got some nice artwork of Blastoise, plus Blast Off with Blastoise EX. Blastoise is one of the original superstars of the Pokemon world. Celebrate 20 years of Pokemon with the Pokemon TCG Red and Blue Collection Blastoise EX. Awesome. This is the box I've been waiting for for quite a long time. I already opened the Charizard version, and now we finally get to open the Blastoise version. So, let's see if I can do this without making <laughs> too much noise. Um, <laughs> or ruining my nails. That didn't work out too well, did it? <laughs> Try again on this end. <laughs> and as usual, looks like I'm gonna have to cut the video. Hold on one minute. Okay, so here are the contents of the box. Whoops. Minus the Blastoise card here. Which is very nice artwork here. It's a full art, but not the like scritchy scratchy kind. It's got a Gyarados with a red eye back there, as well as a Vaporeon. This is a very nice card, by the way. Um, so this Blastoise card has 180 HP, an attack here with a double colorless for rapid spin, which does 30 damage. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon, then your opponent switches his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her benched Pokemon as well as Splash Bomb for only 3 water energies, does 120 damage. You do, however, have to flip a coin, and if Tails, this Pokemon does 30 damage to itself, but that's a lot of damage for just 3 energy cards. And of course it is a EX, so if it gets knocked out, the opponent gets to take 2 prize cards, but that's okay. This is a Black Star promo with the number XY 122. Wow, I cannot believe that there are 122, and I suppose many more, um, promo cards in uh, this set. Just XY in general. So there we go. Nice rainbow foil situation going on. And in addition, we have a Blastoise figurine right here, kind of coming up out of the water and letting off some cannon jet stuff. For some reason, this uh, cannon is far down and this one is up. I wonder if they're doing the version where he like alternates shots. <laughs> but yeah, similar to the Charizard figurine where they're kind of coming up out of something. Let me actually get the Charizard figurine now that I'm thinking about it. So here is the Charizard figurine for comparison. Coming up out of fire, coming up out of water. And I suppose at this point I should probably get Venusaur as well, but to be honest, that collection has been lower on my priority list. Maybe eventually. So that would be nice if I have all three though. And in addition to the figurine, we also get four generation booster packs. as well as a code card, which I guess I'll go ahead and show. Here you go. <laughs> uh, wonder who will end up getting this code. I've been kind of alternating just giving out the codes and, um, you know, saying comment if you want the code and stuff, but yeah, let me know if you grabbed this code and got anything good. Like the others in the series, we have the 20 years of Pokemon little checkoff list. There's still the Venusaur EX and Pikachu EX that I've not gotten. To be honest, I'd probably go Pikachu before Venusaur, but we'll see which ones I end up with. As well as quite a few on this side, which I've still not gotten to. So 
so we have cover artwork from each of these guys in the Generation series. And well, I feel kind of bad for Venusaur since I haven't wanted to pick up the actual collection. So how about we start by opening this Venusaur pack? There's still quite a few cards from the set I have not gotten. So hopefully I'm going to get close to completing this set with this box. And the first up card here we have is Diglett with a very interesting art style with the flowers there. This Diglett has 50 HP and a tech called Mine, which says look at the top card of your opponent's deck, then you may have your opponent shuffle his or her deck. And Mud Slap, which does 20 damage. And a Water Energy, which is always appreciated since I play with the cards. Oh, this sad Magikarp with 30 HP and an attack called Epic Splash that you have to flip two coins just to do any damage with. Oh, it's too bad. And I believe we've gotten this Ponytail before. 60 HP, Agility, and Flame Tail. The little blurb says, As a newborn, it can barely stand. However, through galloping, its legs are made tougher and faster. We have a reverse ray here called Red Card. Your opponent shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards. Ooh, that's so pretty. Our Radiant Collection card here is Jirachi making a nice little heart in the background. Can you see how shiny it is? <laughs> this Jirachi is Psychic type, has 70 HP, an attack called Wish for one Psychic Energy, which, uh, which says search your deck for a card and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. We also have an attack here called Heart Sign, which does 50 damage. And the little blurb here says, the twinkle of the stars, the destiny of love, a miracle that grants wishes in the night sky. <laughs> Interesting. Go ahead and set this one to the side. And we have a Parasect, which we've gotten a few times. It is technically a rare, but this one is not hollow, unfortunately. 100 HP, Colorful Spores, X Scissor. Yep, definitely had this guy a few times. And Charmeleon. This is um, one of those cards in the series of, uh, like, you get to watch... Charmander and uh, the boy grow up together, like with a family, I believe. This Charmeleon has 90 HP, an attack called Call for Support, and another Slash for 80. This is also a Radiant Collection card. And we've got Crushing Hammer. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And the last card in this pack is a Haunter. 70 HP, an attack or ability, rather, called Gothic Fear. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may leave both active Pokemon confused. Not really sure how that would help, but um, who knows. The other attack here is called Poison Ring. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. That Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. The little blurb here says, <laughs> It licks with its gaseous tongue to steal the victim's life force. It lurks in darkness for prey. Okay, next up we have this Charizard pack. So far I've just been opening um, Generations packs in um, like uh, sets of two, so it's kind of cool that I get to open four at once here. <laughs> and we're starting off this Charizard pack in good fashion with a fire energy card. Oh, oh, something good is coming, but we gotta go in order. Next up we have a Tangela, which has 80 HP, an attack called Absorb, which does 20 damage, and then you get to heal 20 damage, as well as Vine Whip for 30 damage. And it says, it tangles any living thing with its vines. Their subtle shaking is ticklish if you get ensnared. We also have a Zubat, has 50 HP and an attack here called Skill Dive, 
Does 10 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for a bitch Pokemon. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. We also have Geodude, 60 HP, an attack called Rollout, as well as Flail. They do, they do 10 damage and 10 times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon, so that would be a max of 5 damage counters, because so, he can sustain 50 damage before getting knocked out. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders, people often step or trip on them. <laughs> That's kind of sad. <laughs> Ooh, we have a reverse hollow rare here. 90 HP Hitmonchan. He does a bullet punch here for 20 plus. Flip two coins. His attack does 20 more damage for each heads, and that is a double colorless. We also have a Mako Cross for 60 damage. We have double colorless again and fighting type, so that would be very quick to power up this Hitmonchan. And the blurb says the arm twisting punches it throws pulverize even concrete. It rests after three minutes of fighting. I think this one gets to go in the special pile, since it's a reverse hollow rare. Oh, and then we have the super cute uh, Flareon EX Radiant Collection card. Oh, look at the eyes and the hearts and the sparkles. Ah, uh, if you can't tell, I am definitely a fan of the Radiant Collection cards. <laughs> 170 HP on this Flareon EX, ability called Flash Fire. Once during your turn before your attack, you may move a fire energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon, as well as Blaze Ball for 3 colorless energy, 50 plus, and does 20 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So again, if all three of these were fire energy, <laughs> that would be 110 damage. And there's no limit, so you can just keep adding. This one definitely gets to go in the special pile. Whoa, and we have a Mega! Venusaur EX for 230 HP! Are you kidding me? Whoa! Well, if that's not a sign that I should buy the <laughs> Venusaur EX box, I don't know. <laughs> so here's an attack here called Bloom Buster. And this uh, Bloom Buster attack does 130 damage for 2 leaf energy and 2 colorless energy. It also says, flip a coin. If heads is attacked as 30 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon, don't apply weakness and resistance for that benched Pokemon. He does have a, retre a tre retreat cost of 4 energies, but um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good pulls. I can't believe I got this Mega Venusaur EX as well as the Flareon EX and a Reverse Hollow Rare in this pack. What? Like what? Are you kidding? Well, goes in the special pile for sure. Our next Radiant Collection card is a Floral Crown. With some nice artwork, it's a Pokemon tool which says, at the end of your opponent's turn, heal 20 damage from the basic Pokemon this card is attached to. Okay, interesting. And we've got an Energy Switch which says, move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. We have yet another item. This is a Revitalizer. Put two leaf Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Hmm. That could definitely be useful with the uh, Venusaur card I just got. And that was quite an interesting pack. Wow. Uh, sorry I ever doubted Venusaur there. Our third pack is a Pikachu Generations pack. I have not gotten the Pikachu Generations box yet, but definitely plan on it at some point. I feel like I'm pretty close to completing the generation set. There are only 83 cards, but then again, I'm probably missing a couple EXs here and there. First up we have the Water Energy card. A Ghastly, with very swirly smoke this time. HP of 50, and Sleep Poison Attack for one Psychic Energy card. Flip a coin, if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now Sleep and Poison. Wow. And it says, Born from gases, anyone would faint if engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison, which is fair. 
And we've got Krabby with a very happy look on his face. This Krabby has a hundred, or a hundred, no, just 70 HP, with Vice Grip for 10 and Crab Hammer for 50 damage. If it senses danger approaching, it cloaks itself with bubbles from its mouth, so it will look bigger. Did not know that. Whoops, camera cut off. Not exactly sure where, but, um, so this Pikachu has 60 HP, an attack called Muzzle, flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed, as well as Quick Attack, which does 20 plus damage. Flip a coin if heads his attack does 10 more damage. It raises its tail to check its surroundings. The tail is sometimes struck by lightning in this pose. Oh, poor cute little Pikachu. Getting hit by lightning. Ooh, and we have a very pretty Charizard Radiant Collection card here with these snowflakes and nice hollow pattern. So cute. So like I said, this is one that the um, trainer kind of grows up along with the Pokemon, which I think is a cool storyline. This Charizard has 160 HP, an attack called Recall. Choose one of this Pokemon's attacks from its previous evolutions and use it as this attack. We have a Combustion Blast for 130, and the Pokemon can't use Combustion Blast during the next turn. And it says, no matter what happens, if we stick together, we can get past it forever and ever. Aww, so sweet. These Radiant Collection cards. Ooh, and we also have a Pinsir. I've been using Pinsir a lot in my decks recently. He keeps reappearing in different sets with pretty strong stats recently. He's got 100 HP here, as well as overhead throw for 30. Does 20 damage to one of your benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance. As well as heavy suplex for 40 plus. Does 20 more damage for each star, or each normal colorless energy. <laughs> and your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. It swings its long pincer horns wildly to attack. During cold periods, it hides deep in the forests. And it is a rare. So... And we have Fletchling. There are two of them helping the girl with their hair. We've definitely gotten <laughs> this card before. It is a common, so it's not surprising. It's Radiant Collection card number 25 out of 32. It's got an attack called Warble. Search your deck for two Fletchling. Reveal them. Put them in your hand. You shuffle the deck afterwards. And we've got Pokeball, the item. Flip a coin. If heads, search your deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Ooh, and Persian. Very cute here. 90 HP. Fake out an ambush. Does 30 and then 40 plus damage. For this one, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. Definitely have one of these before, but uh, always up for some new cat Pokemon. Its lithe muscles allow it to walk without making a sound. It attacks in an instant. And that was our third pack. Last up here, we have... Blastoise! Had to save him for last in this opening, of course, since it was a Blastoise EX box. Maybe we can get another Blastoise in this pack. First card here, we have a Tangela. Again, got this a uh, little bit closer to the beginning of this opening, so not really going to read from this one. Got another Magikarp. Again, pretty common. In a set like this, under 100 cards, you're going to double up pretty frequently. Steel Energy. Could always use more of those. I am still working on getting <laughs> a Steel-type deck together. Again, there's the super cute Pikachu. Unfortunately, not reverse hollow this time, but that's alright, because we already have one. Ooh, our reverse hollow rare here is a special energy, a double colorless. Again, super appreciated. I stick double colorless energies in a lot of my decks, because they are very useful, even in the new, new version of the game. Oh, and we have <laughs> a Pikachu cuddle puddle. Look at him. So cute! With a nice all over hollow pattern. I wonder if this is considered a full art, because they are out of the typical frame. This Pikachu Cuddle Puddle has 60 HP, Nuzzle, and Quick Attack, similar to this card. 
So that's interesting. Then we got two Pikachu right in a row there. This is Radiant Collection card 29 out of 32. A yellow body is proof of good health. If you touch its bright red cheeks, you'll see its shiny, smiling face. That's really cute. As our rare in this pack, we have Hitmonlee with 90 HP fighting, I believe, a Machoke there, as there are only two arms, not a Machamp. Stretch Kick. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. And I believe Stretch Kick or High Jump Kick or something like that with the same effects was used in the very original Pokemon TCG series. At least I remember it from the uh, Game Boy game. <laughs> they could attack benched Pokemon using that. We also have Spiral Kick for 30, and it says the legs freely contract and stretch. The stretchy legs allow it to hit a distance up. A distant foe with a rising kick. Cool, cool. And we have some cuddly swab blue, another radiant collection card. This is number 23 out of 32. 40 HP here and an attack called Bind Wound, which is not an attack, in fact. It says heal 20 damage from one of your Pokemon. Wings and beaks. I like yours and I like mine too. The radiant collection card little uh, sentences always crack me up. And we have Team Flare Grunt. Interesting, interesting. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. I mean, that's not a terribly strong attack. Why not just use energy removal? But anyway, haven't gotten any Flare cards for a while. Last up in this opening will be Golbat, 70 HP, an ability called Sneaky Bite. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. And then for only one colorless energy, we have an attack here called Swoop Across. This attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for a bench Pokemon. As well as once it bites, it will not stop draining energy from the victim, even if it gets too heavy to fly. <laughs> oh, go bat. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting card to end on. Let's look back at some of the rare cards that we got here. Or I guess, um, special cards. <laughs> Starting from the back here, we got red card. Reverse hollow. Jirachi, an uncommon, uh, hollow rating collection card. But I mean, he is legendary, so. As well as a reverse hollow rare, Hitmonchan. And in that same pack, we got Flareon EX. So cute! It was Radiant Collection card 6 out of 32. Though we have gotten it before, I mean, come on. How can you deny that face? And in that very same pack, we got a Mega Venusaur EX. Wow! Uh, I haven't gotten too many EX cards from Generations packs, considering <laughs> I've been buying them two at a time, but uh... Wow, I can't believe that pack was so good. <laughs> we also have a Radiant Collection Uncommon Charizard with some very nice snowflake pattern hollow stuff going on. The Reverse Hollow Pikachu, though it is common. This is a really cute card, isn't it? Pinsir, regular rare. A reverse rare, double colorless energy. Or a reverse hollow rare, but I think you knew what I meant. We also have the Pikachu Cuddle Puddle <laughs> Radiant Collection card. And regular rare Hitmonlee. I think we did pretty well this time. I don't know about you. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, whoopsies! I almost forgot to show the Blastoise EX again <laughs> that we got up at the beginning. Yeah. Definitely a good haul, I think. And, uh,. As usual, I will just make some kind of shuffling noises and uh, pack crinkles until the end. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next Pokemon card video. Good night!